Oh no, no. There we go. Okay, there we go. So, we're here tonight to bring to you four boxes of goodies. And when I say four boxes of goodies, I mean goodies. Yeah, we're, we're doing things, um, yeah, see if, see if you can hear us live. Um, we have La Muerta. The notification. La Muerta, Eric Hawkins, the man who does the... And we're live. Yeah, we're live, everybody. And this right here is from the strip club man, uh, Colton Sorrells. Uh, Brian... Not sure where he got that, that big well, name, thing. You know, I, I could have come in... Colton the Brazier Kent Sorrels. I mean, uh, I could have called him that, but you know, I like Col Colton's good dude. Um, we're going to say it goes one, two, three, four. Three. And we have the Brothers Korea um, big box here for last. Yes, yes, we have tits. Yeah, yeah, yeah strip club. Strip club Sorrels. And as always, we will uh, be opening it and I will uh, show it closer to the camera. I got La Muerta. So we're going to go with this one first. Also, it's great to be back online. Um, missed everybody. I think, what was that, the last week? Yeah, last week. We, we've been going pretty pretty weekly here. Um, with the new jobs and stuff like that, and Mike works days, so we can start getting together maybe even once or twice a once week. Once or twice a week. This right here is built up of four days, five days? So you know, and we all know how, how much Mike backs <laughs> our uh, Kickstarter. Yeah, so this one. Yeah, okay, cool. Do you back Facebook? No, I do not back Facebook. So I got the Muerta Retaliation Sealed Mystery Envelope. Cool. Yeah, I think they were your first interview. They're great people. Uh, what, ain't it Colton and Corey? They've always been nice people. Yeah, man. nice people, especially with us. I mean, we've always had a kind of a special connection with them, as far as like, you know, they're they're so down to earth, you know, and they're just they're just a couple guys, a couple brothers, aren't they brothers? Yeah, they're brothers that from just Brooklyn, decided they Oklahoma. Wanted to do it. <laughs> they said they they decided they wanted to do a comic, and they did the thing, and it's a good thing. It's a great thing. It's very inventive, oh, very great. original. Holy crap, there is a lot of stuff in here. This is all incentives. Oh, dude, I'm going to sit on your envelope. That right there. Alright, so first we got the pin. If you can see that. It's actually kind of a badass pin. I love my magnet. I'm keeping that one. That's awesome. We got a magnet. We got another magnet. Two minutes, actually. We have Dos Magnus. Bunch of cards here. Maybe like a whole set of cards. Maybe there's more cards, too. A whole bunch of cards. Did you want to see it? Alright, some cards. By, uh, that one, if you can see, is kind of a foil thing. It's a really cool. I like that. I like the, I like the $13 bill. These really cards do. are really awesome. Nice. Yeah. It, man, it, 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 it was just a good card stop. The $13 <laughs> bill. That's funny. And then you got a bookmarker and a... <laughs> Look, it's even got a watermark. Does it really? Yeah. That's funny. That's awesome. And then you got these two. That's things. pretty cool. Sticker in the book one. That's the last two. And death she lives. And then there's still more left in the bag. You didn't well, spin it like you usually do. Huh? You didn't spin the, the, the thing? Yeah, so people can read it. Oh, my bad. I can do I mean, it. It's okay. It's not a big deal. In death she lives, that's what it says. I got this too. I got this. I got this. I got this. Oh, I've got another sticker. It's a bad sticker. I keep saying that I'm gonna put stickers like this on my car, but I'm probably not. <laughs> probably not. Yeah, my phone won't want me to do anything. That's okay. I mean, they understand. Y'all understand, right? What's so going on, LP? I'm trying to do a thing and it ain't doing a thing. LP! 
So yeah, I still never seen. ALP, are you okay, man? Because you seem pretty pissed on uh, Facebook. Who's bothering you, man? Me and Mike will come up there. We'll take care of it for you, brother. Probably us. That's not us. It can't be us. We haven't done anything. I hope not. Please say anything else. So Mike didn't show these off. I will. Yeah, man, okay. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I, my phone is acting up and ain't letting me do a lot of things. Tell Mike we asked for an apology, not a character reference. Oh! Giggity, giggity. All right. Greetings, fiends. Brad Pleto here. I'm taking a back seat for this letter and unleashing on where to writer Mike McLean to share a message with you all. Oh. I'm not even going to read any of it. <coughs> Let Steve read it. <clears throat> Why can't orphans play baseball? Because they don't know where home is. Because they can't find home. Ah. <clears throat> what do you call? What do you say to a woman with no arms? Nice tits. Hold on. That was not what that said. That's what it said. And you make it all possible. There you go. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate that. Do you really read all this? He's like, where do I begin? I don't even want to read this. Hey everyone, he has to admit that he was a little nervous about this one for some reason, but they, uh, he always does great in it, so it's no big deal. I'm paraphrasing. Well, the, the, uh, it's a good comic book. Da, da, da. I hope the package for. Oh da, 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 wow, da, da, da. this is a lot different. Da, 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 da. He said, he said, thanks everybody because we make it, we make it all possible, and that he loves us. This right here is a lot different than the other ones, dude. This is actually sealed, sealed. Oh. Dun 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 dun. So do open. I open or do I not open? Will he open? Screw it. Next on Seventh Heaven. Wait, what? Here, use this. No, I don't want to break the suits. Oh, wow. That's sealed good. That was sealed there. Your suits are pretty. Oh, dear Jesus. Bear Jesus. Pinups number one space case edition. Don't worry, I will show it. This is a pin up. I don't know who made this one. Cover looks awesome. It's different. It's very different. There you go. Alright. Sheen. This what is what that? he got. Uh weather. Huh? Oh, weather, um, my weather app telling us that we're about to have better weather. Oh, yeah, we're having hurricanes, doses of them. This is going to be great. They're <laughs> following each other. Marco and Polo. Marco and Laura. She's, he was mad. He left, and she was chasing, now she's chasing him around the world. They're going to the same place. It's separate days from one another. Sounds like a real woman scorn to me. Wait, I said that out loud, didn't I? So yeah, this right here is really cool. I don't know who did the uh, the space case edition. Who does it say on the cover? I'm sure we can find out. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Should be on the back, right? Well, it Should just says it? how many of them were made. It was 40. So you got one of 40? So he's got one of 40. Which ain't bad. I mean, I like the, the sealed envelopes. I really dig them. I think they're really, really cool. LP, we, we, we've we all been there, brother. Man, venting the people, dude. Well, hell, you seen my vent. I did it live in front of everybody. I even name drop. You did. F that guy. Fun that guy. Yep. Fun that guy to hell. So now, this right here is Eric DeMann Hawkins. This was a Kickstarter. As all of this is, except for the big box, that right there was done from auctions over periods of time from the Korea Brothers. That's Michael's main crush. This is Eric DeMann Hawkins. Uh, I think he got number one of this. It's the Zombie, the zombie Full World of Oz. This is number two. I think I got the metal version. Oh. Nice. First metal comic I ever bought, I think. I might have changed it out. Metal! 
I, I'm pretty sure I probably changed it because I want to spend all that money. Remind me to lock. You probably changed it. Ow. Because I do things from time to time that are crazy. I'm like, hey, look, I should have never done that. So I'm either going to cancel you or I'm not going to buy you. Or both. Or both. Your knife sucks, by the way. Jonathan asked about you today. Did he? Yeah. Listen, Johnny's been asking about you. Oh, shit. I meant to go by and see Mr. Johnny. Totally freaking forgot. Well, up there to shop? Yeah, I told him I would come see him before I left, and I didn't. Thought bad about it. I had to get out of there though. Oh man! Oh, that's really cool. Hey. That's really cool. You can take that off. I am showing this off. Zombie four. Dude, that is a killer world. Oh. All these cards are there. Oh. Oops, sorry. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That's a metal card there. Who said that? And it's metal. Heroes and villains of Oz. There's the Wicked Witch, the Cowardly Lion, the Scarecrow, Dorothy, and the Tin Woodman. I really, really, really dig this. I like the postcard. Nice. You can have it. I figured you'd want it. Do you want the card too? You can keep the card. And I got a picture of the Tim Woodman. Yeah, I seen that. The the Tin Woodman. The Stone Door Studios top. So he sent a button <laughs> with his autograph on a card. That's what, that's what LP needs to start doing is putting your names on cards and sending them out with every every book to like, oh yeah, by the way, here you go. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, I got a business card for that. It's going to say LP. Limited edition. Where's my button? You got my button? Mm-mm. I don't know what to do. I'll put it back where it came. But that's really cool postcard. I already know who's going to get the postcard. <laughs> PCJ. Oh. And did you show this off? Mm, that's the regular code. I don't think I showed that off. I don't think they're in Kansas anymore. No, I don't think they're in Kansas anymore. Now. That right there is Mr. Eric Hawkins, who was a great, great dude. Mike's man crush. Oh, he's a good guy. He's a really good guy. The reason I backed him, it's... Your button's on it, okay. It's, it's steampunk zombies. You can't go wrong with steampunk. Anyway. And zombies. Well, steampunk. The zombie guy. He's a steampunk guy. Yeah. So, yeah, best of both worlds right there. Best of both worlds. Put all these together. So that was Matt Hawkins. No, Eric Hawkins. Eric Hawkins. Who's Matt Hawkins. Matt Hawkins does um the tie witchblade. Oh, Matt Hawkins is his man crush. My bad. Yes. Sorry, Eric. You've been replaced. Wow. Joe Benitez is also my other. Man yes. Crush. Yes, it is. I'll attest to that. It is. I love Lady Mechanic though. That's, that stuff is awesome. So yeah, that's everything on Eric Hawkins' stuff. He does really good work. I like the throwback of the, 
a horror book. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. Cheers. Nice. Because you didn't get a book. You sure? Yeah. Nice. I'll keep the variant. And now we're moving on to Mr. Colton. What's up? Mr. Colton Sorrels. Let's see here. Don't need it, dude. Don't need it, dude. Got trash. Mm -hmm. Oh, we oh. got tits. We Number got nine. Tits. Number nine. Colton and Corey Sorrels. They gave us a bunch of little bitty stickers. Cards in the back of it. Which tits doesn't stand for tits. It stands for trans my, trans interdimensional taxi. Taxi service, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, taxi care service. Oh, these are awesome. Show them off. Yeah, go for it. You didn't get number nine, dude? Uh-uh. Now I'm going to have to catch up. I've got all of them except for this one. I didn't back their last ones. I couldn't. It was a time of money need for me. But, yes, I will be doing a review on this. Also, there is a review coming as well for Devin's Soaps. Tonight, I told her that... Uh, she asked me today at work if like, she hit me up on Facebook and asked me if uh, we tried any for subs. I'm like, yeah, I've tried like, four mm -hmm. of them. Just sit right there. I tried four of them. I like them. I know Jackie's tried a bunch of them too, so I know she likes them. They smell very good. They 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 lather up really nice, and they leave you they leave your skin soft and soft and smooth. Sexy. I like them. So. We've already un unwrapped everything? Uh, unwrapped, uh, well, yeah, kind of. Wow. We're moving right along. It's only 17 minutes in. Well, I mean, I ain't spending too much time on everything because... You still got to do a review, right? You still got to do a review. Still got to go through some stuff and talk about other things going on in life. Oh. So, we got a little yeah. bit of things going on. We're, we're going to come back and touch base on everything. Okay. I hope. I believe you. I hope. But say the worst for last. Uh oh. Or the best. I don't even want to go with it. Is this something that you want? Uh -huh. Yeah, these are going to be a bunch of comics. Uh -huh. These are a bunch of comics. Alright, put your hands up. Alright. It's trash. Trash, trash, trash. Jesus Christ. Whoever that is knows how to pack. Well, that's the Korea Brothers for you. Good job. They, they, they pack it in pretty good. Until it balance all the time. Lock the way you pack. Mm. Five. Mm -hmm. What? Remember Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Oh, dude, you're alive! Bag. <laughs> Bottom of the Iron Maiden. Excellent. Execution. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I love that movie, dude. When you're a king or a lowly super trooper, sooner or later you just dance with the reaper. Damn. Dude, Jesus. I'm not making sure nothing got in there. Alright, bro. Alright, sweet Jiminy Jesus. I think I can finally, I'm finally getting to the good stuff. Wow. That, my good friend, is a lot of books. Alright. Okay, that's Suicide Squad. Which number is that one? Number 13. Alright, here's 12. Here's 11. Hold on. Slow down. 10. Hold on. Why don't you put them all together, dude? Bam. Bam.
That's number one. I'm showing up the shoot scoot suicide squad. The suicide squad. That's me. Gonna have a suicide. Guess we're gonna make a squad. That's the suicide squad. Shoot do I Showing off the scooby dooby scooby dooby doo suicide squad. That was Will Smith. Clear <laughs> professional flashback. Some Silver Age stuff. Mighty Fall. Mighty Fall. It's silent. No, it's not. Never mind, that's hard for Sorry. That's old. Yeah. Uh, this right here ain't as old as that, but it's in worse condition than that, but it's awesome. Number 32 Avengers. Number 32 Avengers. Yeah. You would like that cover. Number 107. People are going to love this. That's a good cover. And it's in great condition. I don't know, it's probably about a five, maybe a six. You going to get upset off? And then the last little bit of garbage is this one. I call that garbage. I mean, I'm a direct cult like that. These are just books that probably gave me for free, which is cool with me. I dig it. I'm not a fan of Green Lantern, so there's a the movie though. Yeah, I did actually. I don't know if this is a actor. Um, that actor is a. I want to say it's like a TPB type deal. It's been twenty ninety nine TPB. There's all the all the next man. Some more Catwoman. We'll go with the, we'll go with the Catwoman here. 
think there was some of the Jim, ba Jim Ballant or Jim Balant on it. I really, really love his artwork. He makes our big boobies. It's got big boobies on them. Big boobies. I like big boobies. I cannot lie. So yeah. And then one of my favorite heroines of uh, DC. <laughs> he said heroin. Is a Tara. If they ever get anybody to play her, they should get that girl from, from the Gilmore Girls to play her. The young one. Mm-hmm. Or that chick that played in uh, uh, Pretty Little Liars. Yeah. As Aria. Damn. That's a That's an autograph. It's an autograph. It's got a COA on the back of it. Transformers. More than meets the COA. There's an area of Gail Simone and Aaron Lopress, Wonder Woman 21 at 2020 C2E2. Say that three times fast. Look at the muscle. It'd be muscle live here. Open this right here is Jenny Frizone or Jenny Jenny Friesen. Uh, if you're not familiar with what a COA is, it's a certificate of authenticity. And this one right here is autographed as well. And just proves that these signatures were correct and real. I don't like her eyes. Which one do you prefer? This one or that one? That one. Here we go. This one came in, no. Oh. They came as a package deal and it was too much it was almost too good to pass up. So I had to do the thing. And that's the Gail Simone cover, correct? Simone Simone. Yeah, that's the good one. Simone. Oh. So now we're fixing to go back and talk about all the stuff that was in here. So now we're gonna go back and talk. So these books here came from the Rockstone Rick Company. And uh, Rockstone Ricks, uh, they have a Facebook group on uh, on Facebook. Yeah, called Facebook Rockstone, group on Facebook. Called Rockstone Rick. I don't know why I got that. I don't even know how I got that. Um, the Zatanna set I bought from, couldn't pass it up at Zatanna. It was cheap. The Catwoman set was pretty reasonable. These right here. I don't remember paying for it. I guess they're the free comics they give me. I don't remember paying for that one either. I can't imagine you buying that one. That one? Yeah. That's yeah. Oh, whatever. But no, the Captain America, the Avengers, the Supergirl, the World's Finest, I bought these. Yeah. You can't pass that up. Man. I would I would love to just open that and smell it. What? Those comics. What? Really? Yeah. I mean, uh, Aquaman, I think I paid like a dollar a piece for the Rise of Gold stuff. I think I paid like 10 bucks for both of them. Couldn't pass them up. And they were part of a set, so. Oh, come on, what's about? It's really like newspapers, don't it? You can't, you can't. That's, that's just childhood all over again, right there. Uh, the the one right there is probably the oldest one I have in here is probably like 12 center. Right there. I'm pretty sure this is like 1960-something. It's got the first Bill Foster of the Black Goliath, number 32. I think this was in 1964, maybe before then. 66. September. Damn. Before I was even born. Me too, man. Way before I was born. Yeah. Somebody's carrying 40 soon. Shut up, man. The Silver Range of Comics is probably the best 
age of comics as far as collecting because you can still collect them. But as far as a new collector, everybody's wanting the first appearances of everything that's going on like DC. Uh, like, oh, the first Black Adam. Oh, the first Deadpool. First female Captain Marvel. And Deadpool's still up there. Isn't 300 bucks. And Dinosaur was from what, 66, I said? I mean, some of these are old, man. And this one is probably up there, too. 68. They just don't make them like that anymore. The stories back then were better than they are now. Because now they're trying to rehash old things. And it's kind of like, didn't you ever do this? Oh, we run out of things to talk about. So now we're going to do this all over again. The, the coolest thing they've done here recently was the Crisis on Infinite Earths of DC. They did that on television, which was awesome. Nice. Now this Captain America here has some cut up top on it, and I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm not mad. This here's a 1968 comic as well. I said that other one was a 66, wasn't it? <laughs> I figured it was the oldest one. Wait, 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 you're splitting it. You're splitting it. No? Yeah. These are old, man. Then then the Supergirl. That's a 15 cent comic, so it's me kind of newish. I'll probably be around about 69, 70. I think it's probably about 72. Oh. Your birthday year? Yeah. I think maybe 72. I could be wrong. 71. January 71. Close that way. Close. Let's see. So, yeah, all that right there is awesome. Couldn't pass that up, man. That ain't good. It's like Bill Foster, the first Black Goliath. They give it a six zero to six and a half. I I'd say it's probably about a seven. The one they gave a four zero to four point five, I give it about a five. Or four and a half to five, I probably give it about a five and a half. I wouldn't give it a six because of the top. But this one right here, it's probably about a four. If it didn't have all the stupid scribblies on it and everything and all the colored in with the inker with the pen, it'd probably be worth a, a lot more money than what it is. It's, I am almost 50. This right here would be really, really close to, um, to, uh... I'm okay. I, I, you know, you ask people around me what, how old I look, they tell me I look in my 30s, early 40s. Yeah, when I have my beard, they say I look my uh, age. I just got my hair cut recently, but when I didn't, I had it combed back like this, and it was long on, on the front, like, like I can come here. And I had it all combed back like this, and an old guy stopped, and he goes, hey, hey, son, come here. I said, yes, sir. He goes, you know who you look like? I said, who? He goes, you look like that star from, from that show. I went, what show, sir? And he goes, uh, Polly Walnuts from Sopranos. I went, Polly? Really? You come to the old guy, Polly? And I was like, one. Well, okay, time to get her." Polly time. is like... He's the one with the most distinctive hair, though. Yeah. But he's the, he's the coolest one, too, man. Yeah, he was crazy. I, I don't know. I kind of like the guy who was in the East Street, man. Oh, Mr. Van Zandt? Yeah. You I know, he's, he's also in another show on Netflix, too, man. I think he's kind of a badass. They say he's always... In bad, he's connected in real life? They say he's kind of... A bad dude, if you know what I'm saying. I can go there and say that I don't know. I don't know him personally. I don't want no bad mojo coming towards me. But they say he's a he's he's a bad dude. I I, I do believe I have gotten a little bit grayer since the first time we met. Truth hurts. Yes.
Yeah, so yeah, and the Suicide Squad stuff, I think I paid like um, 60 bucks for the whole set. But that's the very first run of Suicide Squad. So that being said though, the whole first run of Suicide Squad, if anybody wants to offer me uh, an actual cash deal on number one, I will be willing to make a deal with you. Um, I have two copies of number one. I want to keep them one myself, but the other copy I'm willing to part with for a cash donation. So if anybody has any anything they want to offer for the number one of the uh, Suicide Squad first, the uh, first edition number one Suicide Squad, let me know. Because I am bidding starts at a hundred. No, it ain't that much. I'll, I'll take I'll take about. 30 to 40 bucks for it. Bidding starts at 40. Bidding starts at 40. I mean, I'm not trying to screw nobody over. I got two copies. I paid like 40 bucks for each, basically. The other two, and all the rest of the stuff was about 20 bucks. So I think I did okay. I think I made it. I think I made it out okay. It's a nice stack of comics. Uh huh. It's a big stack of comics. Yeah. So far, so good. I haven't been buying a lot of stuff, so that's my last big haul for a while. And that's a lot of books, and then all fits in the box after it was done and over with. That's why we the last of it this way. I'll put it here. That's how I know. But uh, out of all the books that I have and everything that we unboxed tonight, the very first thing I want to say is thank you again for DeBron Polito for actually doing tremendous work on all your Kickstarter campaigns. You know what I like about about Lady Death is it's not just Lady Death. There's, there's, it's such a such a big world, and, and he allows you to explore it and, and, and all pretty much the whole world. You know, like with um, that's where Evil Ernie came from. That's where Purgatory came from. That's where Chaos evolved from. With him doing. With him doing like like Kickstarters, it's kind of like to me, it's kind of like he, he's actually kind of catering to the low man, you know, to the guy, to the to the real fans, to the, to the real swarm, you know. Now, if he really wanted to, man, I mean, he could probably go like way higher national with it. But I, mean, I think he's happy with Kickstarter. You know, I mean, he makes a lot of money off Kickstarter, a lot, a lot of money off Kickstarter. But if you ever see him personally with packing and, and stuff like that. When, they're packing the stuff for themselves. He's got a lot of people employed, so you know he doesn't he doesn't pocket all that money. He does it for the love. I mean, he, he, really uh, he does. does it for the money too. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure he does, but he does it for the love too. And it's obvious whenever you see all the whenever you see all the the, the stuff that the incentives that you get with it. You know, there's a lot of incentives. You know, and, and that he he kind of started that. He kind of he kind of made that made that a thing. Well, I mean, you got to think in consideration. He did sell Chaos to Dynamite. Right. He sold for that, right? No, he sold, he sold all of Chaos but Lady Death. And then he allowed Avatar and them to do Lady Death and her likeness. And then he didn't like what they did with her. And so he told them he could, they couldn't use it no more. And there was a big ordeal. There was a big lawsuit. He filed for them. He won. Therefore, he made Coffin Comics out of the lawsuit money and other money too that he had from Dynamite. And Coffin Comics is the evolutionary process from chaos. Um, you don't have no Purgatory, you don't have no Evil Ernie, you have La Muerta, you have Hell Witch, you have. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's, there's all those different characters. You know, he's got like a lot of different characters that you can explore. You don't just have to explore like that. Yeah. And, and then he's got all these people, all these great artists working for him now. Not working for him, don't get me wrong. But he drawing, it. drawing for him, you know, and, and you know, they're getting their name out there, he's getting his name out there. And it's, it's, a, it's, it's a vicious circle. And then Zuo, Stephen Butler, Butler yeah. um, let's see, uh, Bill McKay. Yeah. Uh, Land, uh, Greg Land. Well, Land didn't do any of his. Land's, I think Land's about to do something. Yeah, I think, I think well, Rain, Rain's Rain done. Like Laguino? 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 Yeah. 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 Ye
Guido too, so I can do something. Well, I do know he's been trying to get in contacts with Joe Benitez. Oh, uh, my favorite is Steph Wilson too. Yeah, yeah. Steph yeah. Wilson. He's done some stuff with Guido. And and on the same note, all those people have done stuff. Well, no, not all those people, but Steph some Wilson of them did for so Naomi. For, for LP. Yes. Speaking of which, I have the shirt in the car. LP, I have the shirt in the car. I'm gonna order the shirt soon. I just gotta get paid. No, 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 you you can't order this shirt. It ain't on the no, website. Not his shirt. Cause his shirt is special. Yeah. I'm gonna get a shirt. You wanna see my shirt? You yeah. didn't even see my shirt. I don't like you. You didn't even see my shirt. He's trying to make me jealous. He's, yeah. he's gonna lose the shirt. <laughs> uh, so that's the deal with the Brian Polito stuff. Amazing guy. I've met him. He's a nice guy. Really down to earth dude. Yeah, he had some good stories about him. He loves metal. We are definitely smart. He was a skater too, which appeals to me. And he's an alcoholic. I had a dude walk up to me today at work and he goes, he goes so, I hear, you, I hear you used to skate. I'm like, what? Used to? And he goes, he goes yeah, I hear you used to skate. I heard, I heard you were pretty good too. Yeah, pretty good. But how did you hear that? He goes, can't give away my secrets. And I went, Dirty Steve. That's scary. Oh, it, might, it was Dirty Steve. Never mind, because Dirty Steve works there. Never mind, I just figured it out. Thank you. You rock. There is the owner. Something in there. I don't know if you keep talking so much. And then you have... Uh, just can't see. He's probably watching this, actually. And then you have... Uh, he wants to come on as one of our guests. Dude, I'm willing to do anything, man, with anyone. Anytime, anyplace, anywhere. Uh, not that. Whatever. Whatever. But, um... Speaking of uh, crazier things that we're talking about, uh, Eric Hawkins, he does the Zombie Full World of Oz. Um, he also did a couple of other things I have from him as well. This right here is probably the most no notarized thing that he's done lately, and it's been picked up by like other publishers going, hey, Antarctic, Antarctic Press is looking at it like, dude, you, you can do things with this. Just, you know, Antarctic Press is a big thing for Steampunk right now. And, I, uh, did I drop the bomb or anything? Because I know LP was in talks with Antarctic Press at one time. I don't think he wants people to know that. Uh, no, he said it, he said it, on, he said it on Facebook. Did he? Yeah. I thought that was the one thing he didn't want. Okay, never mind. You're wrong, you're right. If, if, if it's true, LP, then, then congrats. But I don't think... It's all done yet or anything, but Antarctic Press are good people. Um, I like most of their stuff is steampunk, like the steampunk Ghostbusters, the... Wow. Remember that? Just steampunk that we... Oh, dude, you know how awesome that is? Oh, my God. Um, then on top of that, you'll have uh, the other steampunk, steampunk Star Wars. Remember that? Yeah. Um, there's a steampunk Star Trek. So yeah, and then there was um, a couple other steam. See, I just love steampunk though. So I want to go through my comics. So anything steampunk to me is gold. Even though most people are like, oh, that's trash. I'll take trash any day of the week. But uh, I don't think it's trash. there's a lot of people that don't like steampunk. They prefer like diesel punk or. Um, cyberpunk or oh uh, yeah, cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is huge right now, especially in this era. I played that game back in the nineties when I was, when I was in college. So. Oh, the the RPG the tabletop. Original. Yep. Because you know they made an actual video game of it too. Yeah, it sucked. God. They're trying to do it, redo it again. With Keanu Reeves. Reeves. Yeah. Uh, I was reminds me of Samurai named Danzig. That reminds me of the cyberpunk thing. Um, do you remember Giant Mnemonic? Yeah. Keanu Reeves? Yeah. That was several <laughs> That was a very good movie, though. I watched that movie a lot of times. Big fan of Keanu Reeves. He was like my very, my very first favorite actor of all time was Michael Keaton for three roles. One is Batman. One playing the multiplicity role with yeah. one, two, and three. And... Um, the one playing the the Detroit car dude 
the car manufacturer trying from the big wigs and stuff all the way to China. Oh, uh, with John Candy in it and everything. Oh, the, the one where he had a where the uh, the guy messes up and had had to. He was about to kill himself, and yeah. he's like, "Don't do that." Oh, God, but Harry carry himself. That. Crap, what was the name of that movie? That wasn't Money Pit, was it? No. No, yeah, Money Pit's a whole other thing. But I can't he, remember the name. I can't remember the name of it. He was my favorite, my very first favorite actor of all time. But now my favorite actor of all time is Matt Damon. Really? I'm gonna tell y'all why. Uh -huh. Have you ever seen the movie um, with him and Ed Norton called Rounders? <laughs> okay. That's that, what, the gambling. Yes. Yeah. And that movie right there made me a complete fan of Matt Damon. That movie. And the other one with him and Ben Affleck, um, and he's like a, a really like a masterful genius who knows how to do the thing. Uh, um, God. Robin Williams is in it. Yeah. As a therapist. Oh, fuck. oh no, he's a teacher, ain't he? Yeah, he's a teacher. What the name is? He's like, how about these apples? It was like the it was like one of their first movies together, and then they did. They did Mall Rats. Well, not Mall Rats together. They did Chasing Amy. It was Matt yeah, Matt Damon was in Chasing Amy. Was he? Yeah. He was one of the editors, one of the big wigs that they tried to sell the comic book to. And they're like, he's like, no, we don't want that. Because Ben Affleck and Jason Lee were the two writers, and they were talking to Matt Damon. In it. But the, other, the only movie they actually played together in the uh, Kevin Smith world was in Dogma. Dogma. And Clerks two. Let's try. To, well, I was trying to think. Remember what I was talking about? Clerks two was a good one. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back was on. Kevin Smith is a great person. I'm just Kevin gonna say Smith that. Smith is a god. Yes. The man literally went to school to study to be what he wanted to do, and then dropped out, and then made movies. <laughs> He's like, I learned what I wanted to do. I'm out. You can't beat that, man. It's like, what do you want to? What do you want to do in college? I'm going to waste my life away for four years and therefore I can't get a job or be like the dudes that um I did it well you didn't say four years in a college either but uh, I did because I did two years in a, a real college and then two years in a uh, okay, so, school yeah four years but I um I was watching something not to get sidetracked but I was watching something on Netflix today we get such a talk time. But the video before. games, but the whole genre of video games with Atari. Oh, yeah, something. yeah, we watched that. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. The three dudes from MIT Cause dropped I, out. Because I was naming them as, as we were watching them. Elizabeth was looking over at me like, really? How do you know all these games? I was like, come on. I grew up on these games. Are you kidding me? The Atari 2600 was the very first failure. God. That thing had so much high, high hopes. It made the world's worst the games. Fifty two hundred, the the big one, the, the big block. That's seventy eight hundred. Seventy eight hundred, the one, and I had uh. The twenty six hundred. Oh god, I loved that fucking game. The best I was game. So good at it, kid. The best console that ever came out in that genre, in my opinion, was the ColecoVision. I'm just saying, I think ColecoVision was heads over better than the Atari. For me, it was, of course, the original Nintendo. Well, I mean, this is before Nintendo. I know, but for me, it was original Nintendo, and then uh, Sega. Well, Genesis. Well, Sega. No, Sega Genesis. 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 We used to play. We used to play kind of. tournaments of Mortal Kombat. And NBA Jam. Oh God. I never played it. What? I played Mortal Kombat. And what? then when I first got my first PlayStation, I played. Uh, Tekken. No, it was. Uh, Virtual Fighter. No, it was that one where you move the little people around. Final Fantasy? No. You're in like a you're like in a war scene. Crap, I can't Command remember. Command and Conquer? Yeah, Command and Conquer. Oh, dude. I would play that game like morning, day and night. Like I would play that game so much. Dude. Westwood Studios, they made a killing on that game, dude. Mm -hmm. That franchise. Yeah, Command I went and back, Conquer, Command and Conquer Two. Yeah, I went back and bought the bought the uh, original game because oh I had I still God. had a PlayStation One. I went back and bought the original game, and I think 
back then, back in the early 2000s, I think I paid like 80 bucks for it, just for the game. See, just to have it. See, this right here is my my evolution of gaming. I started at the 2600, the 5200, the 7800, NES, oh, yeah. Game Boy. I didn't like the Game Boy. It hurt my eyes. Then, I didn't get the Super Nintendo. I got the Genesis. Uh, I got the Super Nintendo. And then I went from Genesis, I went from there, I went to the N64. Oh, yeah. So I missed Goldeneye. Oh, oh yeah. To Rock. Uh, Go Goldeneye was Cruise the original. USA. Uh, Call of Duty, the original. Dude, Goldeneye uh, did. Halo. Oh, my God. We used to have four people and hunt for the Golden Gun because the Golden Gun is one shot, one kill. And, oh, my God. Yeah. I remember sniping people from the bathroom. I'd get on top and just hang out and like, because you could see everybody in the thing, because it was like everybody's on the same screen. They're like, "Where are you at?" Oh, I think he's in the bathroom. Don't go to the bathroom. Don't go to the bathroom. <laughs> and then somebody went to the other side and they're like trying to come at me. I'm like, "Is this guy coming to the ventilator at me?" So I just stop, turn. If you ever want to watch something funny, go to YouTube and watch Hot Mike. Hot or hot mics for uh, Call of Duty. It is um, so dude, fucking a, funny, dude. dude. I sat there and I laughed until I was crying at some of those. There's, people, there's one guy who, who, I mean, it cuts off on me. He's like, he's like, no, 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 and it cuts off. And I'm like, what? Oh, dude, that's so fucking funny. It's so funny. You see the one with the guy? Wait, where'd like, that come from? Wait, wait, oh, and then it's over. Yeah. Did you see the one where the guy got so many busts at his TV? Yeah. The oh man! Yeah, yeah. Then what? Then walks off. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn. That was an ice cube too. Yeah, you know, the Eric, that was an ice Eric, like this. Eric did this. Eric did the thing. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, oh, dude, I get it. He threw his. He threw his headset. Yeah, and he broke his TV and the headset. I was like, so what? Which one costed more? He's like, I want to talk about it. I was like, oh, okay. Is he still working? Yeah, Eric still works there. That's amazing. He's on vacation this week. I wouldn't have guessed he's still working there. Yeah. Really surprised. Uh, not naming any names, but that one guy left. Oh, I'm not. What do I? He left right after I did. Oh, uh, you're talking about FMLA guy, or you're talking about the crazy, crazy. son of a bitch? Crazy. Oh, uh, no, he came in on a Saturday, dude. He was off. He was supposed to be on the on the corona quarantine thing and he said F it told the dude that he was done and as I talked to him later on that day why well, did Eric did and asked him what was going on he said that he'd let us all know in due time he started a new job and uh, and uh, making three dollars more an hour so can't really knock the guy from moving on to better things but one person wouldn't let us talk to him at all, so yeah, I heard that too. And that was kind of, kind of, kind of effed up, if you know what I'm saying. Oh no, exactly. Because yeah, the whole situation's effed up. And, and he's that person's under a lot of scrutiny right now. But and that person gets fired. Um, the other uh, guy. If that person were to get fired, I'd, I'd consider coming back. Because that person, well, if that person goes, then the other person's got to go up under them, too. That sucks, and it's also a good, it's a double-edged no. sword. D? Yeah, yeah. Why would D go? Um, it's chain of command, dude. I don't know, I don't think so. No, if they got rid of yeah, D, they, they wouldn't get rid of D. Yeah, I think they'd promote. D would, D would promote. Yeah, D would. That, that's why I would come back, is because D would move on. Yeah, I think... I think he deserves it better. Oh God, yeah, and he'd be ten times better at it. Than, anyway, let's we're getting off the subject. Here. Okay, then we're at we'll come back. Minutes now, so. We'll come back. Um, now we're back to the reality. Um, back to reality. Yeah, because whoops, there goes gravity. D's actually really cool, man. Yeah, he got onto me today. He almost you like the damn. No, uh, he thought I was BSing with J with Jonathan today, man, and uh. <laughs> I was trying to get Jonathan to hand me some batteries for the uh, tablet. 
He's like, can we just get some work done, guys? Instead of talking all the time, and I looked at him and was like, I just stared at him. He's like, what? So I do hope you're joking. He said, or what, Mike, or what? And I said, oh, you're not joking. So I just walked off, right? And he came over to me and goes, you okay? I said, I'm not talking to you. He goes, you know I'm joking. I said, no, I don't care. I went back to work, dude, and he come out there when I was leaving and everything. I had clocked out like eight minutes late. Nice. And then uh, he come out, he's like, thanks for all the hard work today. And I was like, you're not welcome. And I was like, but I'll see you Wednesday. And he went, okay. But no, he, I know he appreciates it. He takes know? a lot of, he takes a lot of shit. He, he takes a, he takes the, the verbal kick in the nuts every single day. From something, from someone, somehow. He takes a swift kick in the nuts and... I know we were on here late tonight, so I know that that's why we don't have any followers. Or subscribers, or, or subscribers, sorry, viewers, or whatever. Even trolls. Yeah, this is great, actually. This is a Monday night. And we have hurricanes in the Gulf. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, Marco loves Laura. <laughs> They're trying to do a petition to make it Polo. Oh, they really? Yeah. You didn't hear that? Uh -oh. They're trying to change Laura's name to Polo. Marco Polo. Marco Polo. Well, they can't, man. Yeah, they can. Uh, we can't. I believe it is Laura. I think Laura sounds great. Because now it's like a woman's corn chasing after her husband. So it's supposed to rain all, all week. week into next week. Yeah. Which it, is great because I think I'm off. I think it's good for the weather. Sunday. Because of two things. One, off it kills the humidity. Yeah, I'm off Sunday. Can we do something Saturday night? We can try. It kills the humidity. I think that's the greatest thing about it. It kills the humidity. The rain does. Jake from State Farm says I am. Does he? But actual the Jake from State Farm. Oh. Uh, Michael called me. Michael. Oh yeah. Jake Michael from Jake from State Farm. Michael. But uh, you know. Oh, the, Michael. But anyway, so now we're getting back to the to the. To the comics at hand. The third one we unboxed was Colton Strip Club Sorrels. Him and his brother, they make a great team and they put out the one of the funniest comics I've read in a it's long good. time. It really is good. Trans Interdimensional Taxi Cab Service. Tits. It's, a, it's our pleasure. And I read the first seven. I'm, I haven't read the last two. I'm not even going to front and say I did. It's one of the first, it's one of the, the rare comics books that I can actually say I read. So and, and the funny thing is comic, I don't read a lot of comics. Like all those books in there, I don't not even gonna read any of them. Does that make me a yeah, bad he person? Neither. Does that make me a bad Martin. person? I collect most of this old stuff I collect just to say I can have it. You know? So you can't have it. No, it ain't that. Yeah. I just I just like old He collects it so you can I it makes me feel like I'm an actual collector. The collector. Because I collect a lot of the bronze age. Let me ask you something. Yeah. They were talking uh, TikTok. I know. Uh, TikTok was talking about people that can beat Thanos. And they named, they named, uh, they, 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 I mean, they, they named a, a, a lot of different people. But of all people they named, they named the collector. <laughs> he didn't really have any powers, though. He just had a stick that could disintegrate you. And uh, that, too, he, he collected that, though. The collector has people to go out there and collect things for him. Oh. <laughs> so, I mean, he'd have to have the person that could go out there and get Thanos and bring Thanos to him. The only, one of the people I... He said the Hulk, too, because the Hulk is the, Thanos always said that the Hulk was the one person that he didn't want to fight because he actually built his punches. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, damn, that's impressive. Yeah, or... I mean, um, if you watch the movies, it's also Captain America, because Captain America... 
America! America! Fuck yeah! Also, um, Deadpool. Yeah. Deadpool can't die. He fucking hates Deadpool. <laughs> well, they, they both have a relationship with the same woman, Death. Death. So, and we, we did an RPG a long time ago, and we were, we were space aliens that traveled the universe. Says, <laughs> and uh, we beat the shit out of him. Like, just whipped him, just whipped his ass. And like, I was like one of the lower characters in it because I had mind powers, and I just whipped him, like physically whipped him. So, and then uh, Dormammu, Dormammu, yeah, Dor Dormammu came out and whipped our ass, or whipping Thanos' ass. Then Lady, I mean, not Lady Death, Death came out and whipped our ass. For whipping, for whipping Dennis and and or Mama's ass, it was funny. We I think moving up, 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 up. I think they went the, after the Watchers. I think the most think powerful that. character in the Marvel universe is two. One of them is Galactus, and the second one. Well, there's three actually. If you want to consider Thanos, Silver Surfer. Mm, Silver Surfer is mediocre. They say Silver Surfer took uh, the Hulk's powers from him, but had to give them back because Bruce Banner was dying without his powers. Mm -hmm. Would have died. So he because of the gamma radiation. He felt bad for him and gave him back to him. Yep. Silver Surfer is not entirely a bad person, but he's not also a good person either. Chucky who? The good guy, Chucky. Hi, I'm Chucky, you want to play? Um, Speaking of crazy things that I think could be Thanos, I mean, we're going to talk about this here in a minute anyway. I think Green Lantern could be Thanos. With or without the Infinity Gauntlet? With or without. Because you know, the, the, green, the, the green Lantern, the Green Lantern ring, it does everything. Yeah, it is infinite. It has infinite power. It, it could conjure anything. Make anything, anything, and it ain't just one. It ain't just gonna be the green. It could be the black lantern, the red lantern, the yellow lantern, the white lantern, purple polka dot. The purple lantern. Yeah, I mean, it could be any of the lanterns. I'm not a fan of the comic book series, but those, those, this, that story alone is like the Infinity Gauntlet spread out to different people. Because you got the Green Lantern Quarter, you have the Green Lanterns, you have uh, the Yellow Lantern, the Black Lanterns, and well, Sinestro is a Yellow Lantern, so I mean, he's corrupt as hell anyway. And then you have the Purple Lanterns. So what is what is this coming up? This this uh, Justice League Snyder's cut coming up? Okay, uh, is, that, that looks really interesting. That's also like a Suicide Squad thing. What are you talking about? No, it's supposed to be like everybody's in black outfits. What is this one? It's called the Snyder's Cut or the Snyder's Series or something like that. S Y N D E R S Snyder's. Well, that Snyder is the same guy who did all the uh, directing and stuff on uh, a lot of the other stuff. It's supposed to be them, but they're supposed to be like darker, like. In the in the in the previews, it's like Wonder Woman says "screw" or something like that. That probably be a DCU show. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be on like HBO now or something. It's coming out or something. Just like Black Adam is supposed to be on. Uh, oh, it's supposed to be coming out on HBO too. Well, how that stuff is going straight to HBO, dude? Movies are. If I got rid of everything, I would keep HBO now. That'd be the one thing. DCU I'd is great. I don't like that. Well, I mean, you have mine, but you can't watch it on your own TV, though. I mean, you can't try. I mean, it, you have to wait forever for it to load. And then you have, um, Disney's getting better. But I'm not paying for their premium service now. That's ridiculous. You have a premium service now? Oh, yeah. You haven't heard me lot. It's going to be 30 bucks. Yeah, I heard it was 30 bucks. But, but, but don't worry. Don't worry, you can't watch it if you get inside the regular plus. You gotta buy the premium package to get it on. So I'm like, no, not doing it. I don't want to 
I'll wait till it comes out on video. I'll wait till it comes out on plus. I mean, what do you have with it? A month? Two months, maybe? And then you have, um... And Hulu is awesome. Then you have Netflix. And then we have The Boys coming back out on Amazon. Nice. Lucifer just dropped. Lucifer just something. dropped. I, mean, yeah. I tried to watch the first episode, but I was half in and half out. I didn't want to waste my time on it. It's getting up some cool shit on television right now. HBO and Jordan Peele have hit a freaking gem. I haven't watched it yet. But I've seen the trailers. Lovecraft Country. Oh yeah, I've heard good things. Whoa. I've heard good things. I heard if you're a, a Cthulhu fan, that's whoa. Or a Lovecraft. It should be Lovecraft. That was that's the shit. Whoa. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's like, they're. I try not to read too much into it because I don't want to get spoils. But it looks really well done. It yeah. don't look like anything on TV. I like that. And I'm rewatching. What am I watching right now? Big Bang Theory, of course, because I'm a Big Bang Theory fan. And. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, wish I had his money. Me and you both. He has smarts in the show. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just a bunch of redundant stuff you, you can see in any MIT urinal stall. Well, yeah, but. Your stuff is basically you trying to prove that your hypothesis exists in six different uh, worlds. It does. I just have to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Truth hurts, sleeps on the pro and parallel universe on the other one. Hmm. The dumb one. I guess I'm Wallowitz. Yeah, I can see that. Well, I know I'm not Raj. I'm not even. You're not Raj. You're definitely not the uh, Sheldon. Sheldon. I'm not an asshole like that. Oh no, I can't possibly be Sheldon. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have OCD enough. Hmm. You'd be the comic book store guy. Really? It's jerkwad. Why can't you just be Will Wheaton? Because you're not famous. I know, right? Will Wheaton is ridiculous, dude. Yeah, man. Ouch. Really? Alright, well, it's been an hour. We should probably start to wrap it up a little bit. Yeah, I guess. I got to go to sleep. Yeah, I'm getting sleepy in my damn self. Um, so, support something on Kickstarter. Mm, support something on Indiegogo. Support your local indie wrestling. Support your local gaming stores because they're going out of style. They're going out. Of, they're going to cease to exist, and we're going to have to go to places like Barnes and Nobles, Books a Million to get our game stuff. It sucks. Support some. Uh, well, like he was just saying, support your local comic book shops. Also, if you notice, there's. Uh, Probably in your towns too. There's uh, arcades popping up, like old timey arcades. Uh, you know, they pop up and they're there, but until you take your kids to go play in them or you go play in them yourself, they're not gonna make any money. So go have birthday parties there. Go there on, on retro night with your kids. Go there and hang out, do stuff. Have you been to this one up here? I haven't yet, but I will. I'm gonna take Luna, so maybe Chris can go too. Yeah, we went to the one over at uh, G&G, it's really nice. Yeah, I've been there. I uh, was there a lot of the games. my friend Mike came down from Birmingham. Well, a lot of the games had, well, a lot of the games wouldn't work. <laughs> they would work. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they have, uh, you're talking about some old stuff, like Astroids. Dude, dude, did you see that freaking turntable game they yeah. had? I tried yeah. that thing. I suck. Uh, Luna's interested in the VR, too. Uh, Emma wants one of the VR headsets. I was like, <laughs> yeah, All right. $8,000. The Oculus? Yeah, Oculus. Alright, so, uh, support, do you say indie wrestling? Yes. Uh, support your local music groups? Yes, yeah, support local metal scene. Support your local, um, 
<laughs> Let me break it down to you. Break it down for me, fellas. I'm friends with a lot of different musicians here in Mobile. I'm friends with Dread. I'm friends with TMP. I'm friends with Mr. 88. I'm friends with, uh, what is it, Timmy and, oh, oh it's, Beeman and Timmy, they're a great dude. They're awesome guys. Beeman's, Beeman's a badass. I mean, that white dude right there can flow. And then you have, on the other flip, you have, I don't really care for them, but uh, uh, when I it was Wet Willie and uh, bands like that that have been around forever, um, the one that uh, does the, they used to be real big and famous there, Payne, uh, and then, uh, I forget the other one. You know what I'm thinking about. You never heard of Pain? They used to play at the, uh, the coffee shop, man, at the coffee house. Oh, yeah, I have heard of them. We were talking about that the other day. We were talking about old, old bands like, like Dead Johnny Zone. Stratosphere. Dead Zone, Meat and Speed, King's Atlas, Sloppy oh, Bogami, Fonda Swans. You know, Fonda Swans has a, has a... And they put a record out. When, when they have a song on, on, on Spotify. On Spotify. Yeah. I want them all. Well, all those, those were, those were bands that... I still have my about. very first Mutant Speed album. Holy crap, dude, that's old. Mutant Speed's been around since 90, no, 80, 88. Somebody made the, the mistake of, quote, uh, Dougie Fresh and get a fresh crew at work. Yeah. And you finished it? I did. All of it. And the guy just sat there and looked at me like, how do you know all of that? I was like, well, first record I heard one. We're going backwards and backwards. Because that was pretty bad ass. I didn't, I didn't say it I didn't do it all around. But he said, Six minutes. He was like six minutes. Six minutes. Six and then I was just gonna look at him. I said six minutes. Don't you pay shit. Oh, yeah. okay. But anyway. the craziest thing I remember from my childhood, my mother got me a '80s rap cassette tape. Oh God. It had that song on there. Six minutes. It had La Di Da Di. The show. It's called the show. The show La Di Da Di. Yeah, and then it had. Uh, the Super Bowl Shuffle. Oh God, we're not here, here to cause no trouble. trouble. We're, we're just here to do the Super Bowl Shuffle. Then it had it's the uh, Bears. The Bears. The Bears. And then it had that's um, so funny. man, God, that's memories. Power Rap is what it was called. Oh my God, oh, Jesus, God. man. All right, so we got we got we got off track here. Uh, we just want to go home and find that tape. Yeah. <laughs> oh, another one too, man, was Kilo. That was like in 1991. Yeah. I never heard cussing in a CD or a cassette tape. And then, uh, oh, what was it? Oh, oh she loved my dang way. I was like, what? And I had a headset on, I had my cassette player on, my little Walkman back in old school shit. God. Dude, I'm sold. Anyway. Oh, man. All right, you ready to sing? Yeah, let's do a thing, dude. You ready? Right, we have to keep the mother Okay. Now, now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. This is one person. You mm -hmm. and me, be real cool. Oh, yes, I, I think, think you're real cool. Yeah, gee, gee, you're real cool. Unboxing bros. Unboxing bros. Forever let us hold our banner high, 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 high. Come, Come along and see us on Jane Jeopardy. You would be going like E-N-G. At least I didn't pause. Yeah, true story. You haven't been pausing lately, and I don't thank you for that. Let's see, don't upset you a little bit. I'm sorry, no, I, I can't upset my brother. No, no, you're not going to understand you. We've got bigger things to worry about than pause. Pause podcast? Men pause, men pause. Pause. Wow. Anyway.
Love you all. Stay tuned for new upcoming stuff from the Alboxy Brothers. We love you. We all think you should have a wonderful night. And if you're in the process of being in the eye of the storms. Yes, be careful out there, folks. Be careful and don't fly kites. Don't catch corona. And if the wind is coming, make sure you're indoors. Oh, also, one other thing, a tidbit of advice. If you're driving drunk and you go in a ditch, then you need to be pulled out. Dave. Just run. Just run. Only if the car is not registered to you. Oh, then definitely run. Definitely run. Love you all and have a good night.